Hi everybody and welcome back to Amanda Muse. So today's video I'm going to be sharing with you Jack's four month update. So Jack was four months on the 5th and it's the 13th so I'm definitely a little bit late. It's going so fast. I'm having a hard time like I cannot believe he is four months old. What? It's crazy. He's a tank. <laughs> um, he had to get one of his recent vaccinations and I took him to the clinic and he's like 8 kg. So what is that? 17 pounds? 17 pounds. Not surprised though, let's be honest. I think Esme was probably around the same size. I got some full cream milk. That's all I gotta say. I guess we'll start with sleep this week. So he is still an exceptional sleeper. He is sleeping now. He sleeps all the time. I tend to wear him a lot. So he is doing a lot of his daytime sleeping on me. Not a big deal. Um, he will sleep in the bed if I put him down. He just won't sleep as long as I like. So I try to wear him a lot unless I have things going on. Um, but it's very convenient actually that he sleeps on me and can sleep on me because it allows me to be free in a sense. I have a lot of freedom. I can leave the house, I can run errands, and I know that he will be able to get rest while in a slinger or some type of carrier. So that's very convenient. In terms of nighttime sleep, he's a peach, goes to bed at around any time between seven and eight. Like he starts to get tired by seven o'clock. So he has a little bath and then he generally sleeps straight through until about 10 30, 11 30 when he starts to squeak for a little top up feed. And that's usually when I'm going to bed anyway. For activities, he is getting way more interactive you guys it's so fun so he is a giggle monster if you guys are watching my vlogs which why aren't you watching my vlogs if you're not I'll leave some links below he's just like a little cuddle bug he loves to giggle he's playing like if I'm sitting on the sofa and he's kind of on his tummy on top of me he'll kick off off my legs and like try to like bite my nose or just like attack my face and give me lots of kisses well, they're not really kisses, but you know, like try to suck my face, basically. It's adorable. He's getting far more cuddly and playful with my husband, because I feel like in the first few months, they're just like, like a little blob and they just need to be changed and fed. But now he's really playing and he plays a little bit rough. Like he's like a rough and tumble boy. Esme's like dropped stuff on him by accident, like the iPad in the iPad cover, and he's not even phased. It's like, Huh? <laughs> I feel like every moment is so sweet. Like there isn't that anxiety with your first where you're like, you don't really know what you're doing. I feel like with the second, you can just chill out a little bit more and just really enjoy those small moments. So I'm really loving it. He breastfeeds like a champ. He breastfeeds just before he goes to sleep, just after he wakes up. That's kind of his thing. He doesn't breastfeed for terribly long. He's a really good breastfeeder. I have no issues or complaints. He loves baby wearing oh my word and he's quite particular about how he likes to be worn like when he sleeps he's in a sling and I have a few different slings actually this one I just washed so I'm wearing it um, but he loves the sling and when he's sleeping he likes to be in this cradle hold which I'll back up even though I'll be out of focus um, like when he wakes up I kind of just pop him on my hip and then he wakes up slow he doesn't like the ergo I can't believe this I actually just sold my ergo. That's how much he doesn't like it. Like he screams when he's in it and I can't believe it. So I figured I really am enjoying the sling. I really like it. And I don't know, I just don't feel myself like when I want to use a carrier, I just seem to grab a sling. Like I don't even think about the ergo anymore. So that may change as he gets bigger. But for the time being, I'm really enjoying the sling. So I decided with the upcoming move and everything, sell the, the ergo and let some other mama get some good use out of it. And he is a thumb sucker. I can't believe it. I've never had a thumb sucker. Esme kind of found her hands and chewed on them a bit, but she was way more interested in breastfeeding. Um, this guy loves the boob, but he's also loving his thumb particularly. So it's quite cute actually that he sucks his thumb. Oh, and I guess the last thing is if you, again, if you're watching the vlogs, he loves Esme, like adores his big sister. It is possibly the cutest thing I've ever experienced like in my life. As a mom, I thought I've experienced joy and love and all of that stuff, but when you see your children loving each other, it is like, like my heart literally like grows. Do you know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's so freaking cute. He just giggles at her and laughs at her. And even when Esme is like a little too rough with him, he adores it, like it doesn't matter. Ah, it's adorable. In terms of me postpartum, I am starting to see a little bit of weight loss. At my peak, I think when I delivered him, let's say I was 200 pounds, and now I'm down to 167, 168. So that's pretty good. What is that, 78, 88, 98? That's like 30 some odd pounds. 
whoa, whoa. I still have a ways to go. Um, so let's say I'm 168. I would like to be 150. That's kind of like my goal. And then while I'm breastfeeding and anything less than 150 while I'm breastfeeding is like, is pretty good but I'm only four months postpartum and I know for me personally it takes me between seven months and a year to really see like a big difference yeah so I guess that's a scoop that's Jack's four month update if this is your first time stumbling upon my channel then please stay a while and subscribe I am putting out videos on Wednesday and on Sunday and then every Friday I'm putting out a weekly vlog so yeah stick around add me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter see you guys in my next video bye um big very big. Like you could feed multiple children big. I have one word for you guys. Kegels. And if you don't know what those are, Google it. You're welcome.